Yo guys, my name is GP and welcome back to another YouTube video and welcome back to a brand new series of Secrets of Rushden. And today we are starting off this series with Secrets of Rushden slash Urchester Fields. I think I double it. So, so there's two ways to get into Rushden Fields. One via a little residential in the actual town of Rushden and the other one just on the outskirts of Urchester. So now I'm going to take you through some areas of the Rushden Fields. So as we can see just behind me we've got the bridge going over a little stream in the middle of Rushden Field. This bridge was built here specifically for people using the public footpath to get from one side of the stream to the other. I'm pretty sure you've known that. Just next to the bridge we've got a little tunnel going underneath the railway line and to the my right your left you've got a bunch of trees and the rest of the field going towards Urchester. As you can see, I've also got to mention that you can do a lot of train spotting down here. So your trains such as Flying Scotsman and East Midlands and your regular freight every now and again. You can get good shots from coming down here. But as you can see, we've now arrived at the bridges. Um, the railway company back in the 1890s, 1890s, 1900s, built the railway bridge here. because They built an embankment, I think it's all an embankment. And then they realised, oh no, public needs a place to go, a footpath needs to go. But not only that. They also realised there was a gap here, so what they did, they built a nice arch bridge. But because there's four lines, and this one only carries two, uh, they had a bit of a problem. So what they did, was they left a gap in the middle, because it was brick on either side, and they built another bridge at the end. So, that will conclude for this episode of Secrets of Rushton, and hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!